But I do have a hostage in case I can get you back. I am, don't shoot that guy. He's, <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> so old. Yeah, that um, one right there. Within the last few years, the VR industry has come a long way. Sometimes it's hard to really realize that, though, until you get a little perspective. So let's take a look back in the olden times of virtual reality and examine what VR was like before anyone knew what they were actually doing. The year is 2018 AD, back when teleporting was the norm, snap turning was your only option, and people were trying anything and everything to try and keep people from getting sick in VR. Back then, the tactic for VR was always, screw it, try something new, but at all costs, do not make the motion sick. We cannot have smooth locomotion, only snap turning, only teleportation. Luckily, we've moved on from there. The result in this case is Payday 2 in VR being one of the jankiest VR games I've ever played. To show you how old this VR version of the game is, this menu still shows the Oculus Rift CV1 controllers as the diagram. You want to know why it's so janky? Well, let me tell you. Oh, you want to jump across that gap right there? Too bad, dummy, here's some fall damage. Want to get low to the ground and stealth? Too bad, there's no button to crouch, so you gotta squat down in real life and work those quads. Don't want to teleport? No choice. You've always got either smooth locomotion or the teleport laser always visible when you're touching the capacitive control stick. Gotta reload? Dip your gun in the ammo juice on your belt and it's done. Or you can dip your hand in there, grab a magazine out, and slap it in. Mm. Smooth turning? Keep dreaming, you goober. Your only choice is turning with the A or X buttons with snap turning at either 45 or 90 degrees at a time. Oh look, a ladder. Can I just walk up it? Nope, gotta teleport, idiot. And say hello to thinking you're having an aneurysm every few minutes because instead of just stopping you from going through the geometry with your head, it just completely fades your vision to darkness. Because yeah, completely losing my bearings and then waking up to being shot at like I'm in another spin-off sequel of The Hangover, yeah, that'll keep me from being sick in VR. Now at this point, you may be thinking, Larry, get out of there, what are you doing? Don't play this game, you're just like your father. <laughs> I don't know. Well, even with everything that's so busted and cursed about this game, I honestly still love it. To suffer through this torture with me, I brought in two other YouTube buddies, I am and Maxwell, to show them the ropes, especially since it only costs one dollar during the winter sale. Ah! Yo, get out of the... I'm stuck! <laughs> He's <dead>. I'm dead! <laughs> oh, what the heck? Peeling you from your shoe. Wait, we have to crouch in real life. Yeah, dude. Dude, my link cable's <laughs> gonna fall out. I mean, this is immersion right here. Oh, get away. Move away. You're standing right on top of it. <laughs> and it's really interesting to look back on because they haven't updated this game. So it's kind of interesting to see where VR was even just a few years ago, as far as what consumers want as a standard for controls. Now, despite everything that doesn't work about this game, there is still a lot that it does right. Aiming on the controllers, really accurate. Even the scopes are completely usable, which some games still to this day can't get right. The game is completely cross-play compatible with the desktop version, and if you enable IK in your VR settings, whether in VR or on desktop, your friends can all see you move your arms in VR. The VR version of this game is completely free as long as you own the main game on Steam. All you have to do is search for the DLC and then just install it. The most important thing, though, is that the gameplay of Payday 2 is just so buttery smooth that playing in VR just amplifies the experience to 11. Once you've gotten used to the controls, all the jank just kind of fades away into the background, leaving you with a great VR game because it's legitimately just a full game that happens to also be in virtual reality. Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh, I'm a dumb- Oh no! <laughs> Alright, we're going All loud. Alright, it's go time. Just yell at him with your, uh, Stop, with shut your left up, shut grip up. hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you yell at him by gripping. I was yelling at him yeah. in real life. <laughs> <laughs> As someone who's got hundreds of hours in this game on desktop, I have to say that the immersion factor is everything in this game for me now. Despite how silly it is to cut out key features like jumping and leave so many buttons more or less unused, I actually love that you don't have a choice but to physically crouch behind cover to stay hidden. Even though it sucks, there's no compromising your immersion for function. If you're trying to be stealthy and a guard is coming, you gotta slam yourself to the floor. <laughs> and even though this isn't ideal, it's actually kind of fun. The game is made a lot harder in a lot of ways too, and it first you're starting to wonder why am I so bad and then you realize it's simply because your aim sucks in VR. The level of skill you have with aiming in VR is actually rewarded in this game so difficulties you could usually handle no problem with a mouse and keyboard suddenly start feeling like the end of Halo Reach where you're just fighting until you finally die in the coolest blaze of glory imaginable. Now would it be great if they actually updated this game? Of course. But since Overkill Studio just announced Payday 3 a couple weeks ago I'm not gonna hold my breath for it. I'd honestly much rather pray that they put Payday 3 into VR as well but with much better features and bug fixes. In the end, if you have VR and you have Payday 2, the VR version is literally free. Try it out.
sit and have a laugh. Flat screen buddies and you can all play together and they can laugh at your goofy arms while you struggle to get to your feet and sprint away from guards without ripping out your link cable. Go check out IM's and Maxwell's channels as well. They make content kind of like this and I genuinely do enjoy their stuff. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this quick little VR video. I upload every week, so subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this later on. If you want to know when I upload, I'm on Twitter, Reddit, and have a Discord, even though it's basically just me, these guys, and a Discord bot I renamed Dad. So if you want to be part of this new and exciting community, join now. Or don't. I get it. Everyone has a Discord these days, and you can only have so many folders. Either way, all those links are down in the description for you. But yeah, hope you guys take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Oh, don't. No, it crashed. <laughs> no. No. Oh. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs>